after Elon Musk said he has no plans to sell shares until at least 2025. He said that in a Twitter Spaces chat. He tried to ease concerns over the automaker's underperformance this year, as well as assure investors his position as Twitter CEO is not a distraction. But even outspoken bulls like Dan Ives, the analyst from Wedbush, have turned on the company. Ives cutting delivery targets, saying Tesla needs strong leadership to weather what he calls a Category 5 storm. Here's what he told CNBC earlier today. And we're starting to see cracks in terms of China as well as the U.S. So we had to cut numbers in terms of Q4 as well as 2023. And it's been just a horror show from Musk, really a Ted Stryker moment as he's navigated this Twitter situation. Oh. We're still long-term believers, but no doubt this has been a nightmare on Elm Street. Here to discuss is Tim Higgins, tech reporter at The Wall Street Journal, author of Power Play, Tesla, Elon Musk, and the bet of the century. Tim, it's great to have you. How much do you think has to do with the Twitter distraction, whether it's share sales, whether it's the fact that he's tweeting all day and all night and trying to turn around this company? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge issue, right? And some investors are concerned he's overly distracted on this uh, new toy that he has as the Tesla's future looks a little unclear. Here's a, this is a company that's based upon a growth stock story. And when you're seeing some early signs that maybe growth isn't as robust uh, as predicted, that causes real concern uh, among these investors. Well, that's what I wanted to ask, because as I've highlighted and what you just said is that that growth isn't as robust. And I know that obviously car sales have been hit lately by consumer spending. But what, what fundamentally is, is your best read as to what is happening for demand for Tesla's and how, for instance, the competition is faring relative to Tesla? Are they finally chipping away at the market share? Yeah, sure. Now, Elon would like to argue that this is a macroeconomic issue. The Fed is raising interest rates and Tesla is just uh, you know, kind of fallen victim to it, just like the rest of the industry, perhaps. Yes, GM and Ford, uh, their shares are down, but not as dramatic as Tesla. And the concern here among investors is seeing things such as Tesla in recent days put $7,500 incentives on the sale of new cars to move them this month. That's the sort of like old school Detroit uh, move the metal before the end of the period kind of thing that Tesla has traditionally not done because it's had robust demand. It's always been a question. It's always been an issue of too much uh, demand and not enough supply. And once that kind of the paradigm goes to perhaps too much supply and not enough demand, that really changes kind of some of the thesis uh, for Tesla investors going forward. Now, you know, Elon could pull some other levers. He is saying yeah, that Tim, operating. Thank you very much for joining me.